go, is that right? Oh no, no! Oh! <laughs> He's got to! And they dropping double chippings! Oh! Right, good morning. Welcome to day two of uh, my trip to Costa del Sol. We have uh, Peter Finch and Matt Fryer there on the tee. We're about to start filming. It's uh, been an early start. We've got, we're at Atalaya Park. Gonna do as ever, take on a bit of a guided tour and see what happens and uh, film a few holes, a few shots. Sun is coming out. I think it might be a bit brighter than it was yesterday, or fingers crossed at least anyway. So uh, I'll speak to you as we make our way through this 18 holes at Atalaya Park. And I say 18 holes, I think there's uh, possibly three loops of nine, but uh, I'll certainly be showing you uh, a little bit of everything. Right, so hole number six. Um, Matt is just filming a um, a bit of a match. Uh, what is it called? Sixes? Is oh, it's it? the mega match. The sixes mega the match. The sixes mega match. So make sure you go and check that out on Matt Fryer's channel. Um, and then I think it's over to Pete for the back nine, whatever he's going to film. I'm uh, going to show you a little bit around Atalaya Park, as I said. Um, it's pretty forgiving. I think it's good for all handicap levels, plenty wide fair, fairways not too punishing in the rough and the trees are a bit sparse so you can find your golf ball kind of place i like um yes yeah, so it's in good nick the sun is coming out so uh, like i said i'll film a few more shots and give you a look around delighted to actually manage to get it past Matthew on this hole if I'm being honest with you. Right, so my uh, game of golf has literally just ended, full 18 holes at Atalaya Golf Club and the sun is well and truly out, back out on the Costa del Sol, as it should be as well. Uh, enjoyable round, like I said, uh, pretty much early on, carries on pretty much for the 18 holes. Fairly average golfer friendly is what I would say. Um, wide fairways, not too much going on in terms of heavy rough beneath the tree, so it gives us all a little bit of a chance of getting around. Had a great game this morning, it was filmed uh, by both Matt Fryer Golf and also Peter Finch Golf. Uh, yeah, you probably know those channels a lot more than you do mine, but if you don't, then please go and check them out and subscribe. And also uh, check out the videos they've put up over the last few days from this Costa del Sol trip. Once again, thank you to Glencore Golf and also for Costa del Sol for giving me the opportunity, the average golfer, to come here and, uh, and show all the supporters of the channel uh, what Costa del Sol is all about. So that's the game finished here. I'm now off um, on a little bit of a hike, so I'll see you then. I had finished my story for the day as far as Antalya Park. I've just ordered something to eat and my pizza is uh, worth another switch of the camera on to be fair. 
sandwich again? That's, that Solid. is a Strong. decent Strong. Strong. Yeah. sandwich there from Matt. I'd ask him what it's like, but there you go. Just give us a face, Matt, or a thumb, and a uh, nice bit of tuna there for Keith as well. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Decent. Nice food in the bar. Right now, the last time we spoke, I did tell you I was going on a bit of a hike, but I wasn't quite expecting hard hats, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're letting ourselves in for here. I'm at Cominto del Rey. Uh, it looks, it's very, very pretty. Some dramatic fall-offs. That's probably not uh, what we've seen thus far, but it's, uh, I'm really interested to see what lies ahead, to be honest with you, because, uh, that's interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it looks quite narrow. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I've, you know, kind of regret in that massive meal that I had before. The guy's just orange hard hat carrying a canister of water. Apparently that's needed up here as so, well. Hmm. We shall see anyway. I'll uh, keep you posted. Like I said, a bit of a dramatic drop off into some kind of gorge there. We're gonna walk along this uh, rather worrying little pathway, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. So that brings us to here, which is uh, pretty dramatic. Bit of, a, bit of a fall off to say the least there. Don't lean over the edge. I don't know why I'm feeling so brave. And it's all cut through this rock face. A bit like when you get to uh, drive around a corner and get a nice vista from a new tea box, and it keeps opening up in front of you on this uh, Caminto del Rey. Look at that. You see the pathway walks all the way along. Apparently the original path, which is uh, right under there and probably about two-thirds of the width of this new path uh, was described as, and I can imagine, the most dangerous path in the world. You can see again just a little bit of it there where the new bridge has been built on top of it. New pathway, not new bridge. Um, I wouldn't like the job of uh, building a new pathway to be honest with you. But it's opened up an amazing spectacle. What they didn't tell you was this bridge is completely see-through. Wow. It's very windy, so I hope you can hear me, but uh, I'm back on the I'm on the iPhone at the moment because we've lost a bit of uh, I've run out of uh, room. Well, and then it also bounces. No one told me this bridge bounces. Wow. It's incredibly windy and it bounces. And I'm holding on very tight to my camera. When they said come and work with Peter Finch and Matt Fryer, this is not what I had in mind. Bouncing up and down on a bridge, <laughs> suspended <laughs> several feet off the ground. Right, so after a really uh, enjoyable day at Cominto del Rey, a bit of a walk, 
into the hotel, quick shower and back out. And we are at, Platt, where are we at? What's this area called again? What's this resort called? Remind me. Roman Bridge. Yeah. It's like in Spanish, Puente Romano. Puente Romano, that was it. Roman Bridge. It's yeah. Like, it's the area, it has a five star hotels and different boutiques and different uh, restaurants. For example, this one is the uh, Michelin Star. Yeah, yeah. It's the restaurant. Uh, Path, um, you know. Well, we've just had a walk through. It's uh, lots of very upmarket, very nice looking bars. And we're in a place called um, Bebo. It's by Chef Danny Garcia. And there's a special menu been created for tonight. We're just into about three or four different uh, elements of it. And it's been a great start. I can't wait to have you. Brilliant atmosphere in this place. And uh, enjoying this one, really enjoying it. Right, so after whatever it was, eight, nine courses at Danny Garcia restaurant, uh, the day three is it, it's come to an end. It was a great day. Uh, golf, a bit of culture, a bit of Andalusian food, top restaurant. Absolutely fantastic day, loved every minute of it. Back in bed, up early again tomorrow, back on the golf course at Taco Brada. So I'll see you for day four of this trip. Uh, pretty much, Midday tomorrow morning. See you soon.